the Stratford end is back with your press conference reaction ahead of the game against Spurs tomorrow at Old Trafford. And may I just say that today has been an okay day, but how was your day? Let me know in the comment section exactly how your day was, how you are feeling ahead of the game, and of course what you think might be happening in tomorrow's game as a prediction with regards to the score or even just the performance. Nevertheless, let's get into today's video. We will be speaking about a few minor points of what Ralph Ragnick had to say in his press conference ahead of the Spurs clash tomorrow. Starting off, the journalists were kind of very, very much tentative to ask about the Russia and Ukraine war. And Ragnick was straightforward with his answer. He basically said that he just wants peace to finally arrive between the two nations. And he didn't comment on the situation at Chelsea. The journalist also asked him, you know, with regards to how the situation at Chelsea is, what his opinion on it is, and basically just how he feels about it. But for the beginning of the press conference, he didn't really say anything about the situation at Chelsea. He kind of, you know, had a whole mum to the word type of attitude to the journalist. And that is testament to his character. You know, he sees the situation, he sees exactly what is going on, and he's being very smart. Yes, we know about the media advisor that he did appoint a couple of weeks ago, and that, you know, also helped him with regards to answering that, because it's very, very a sensitive situation, and it is very dark um, exactly with what is going on at Chelsea. And yes, we will definitely see, you know, as time goes on exactly what will unfold at Stamford Bridge, but... For the time being, you know, as I've said, Ragnik was very mum to the word and didn't really give any answer or any indication, you know, that he might have information or, you know, what basically his stance might be on the situation at Chelsea. Moving along on to the, um, another point that he, um, he made, basically he also stated that we cannot blame anyone for the situation at Chelsea. This is what Ragnik said, and I quote, Abramovich has made these decisions and yes, it can affect football on a bigger scale as the months pass by, but as of right now, we are not affected. And this is interesting and I just want to pause here for a moment. A lot of reports also came through with regards to, you know, the board wanting Pochettino as, you know, the next manager to take Manchester United forward. Again, I'm just going to say it, Eric Ten Hag is the man. If you haven't seen the video, go and check it out to find out full detail as to why, in my opinion, he is the perfect candidate to be our next manager to take Manchester United forward and to the next level that we need. Um, reports also came out, and this is with regards to Chelsea, that United would go all out for, like, for Thomas Tuchel, you know, to try and snatch him away from Stamford Bridge because of the uncertainty. And that is where Ragnik comments come in when he says that right now we are not being affected by the situation at Chelsea. But as the months pass by, we could easily be lured into that decision where we can, you know, snatch Thomas Tuchel away from Chelsea. And truth be told, if we don't get Eric Ten Hag, which is my number one target and candidate, I would definitely go for Thomas Tuchel. I mean, look at what he did at Chelsea in such a, in such a short span of time. And thus, with not making, you know, the demanded signings that he actually wanted. And even thus, so, you know, his style of play, the passion that he has, his tactics. You know, yes, at PSG he also failed, but he took them to the final. And, you know, he played very, very good football with PSG and even more so now with Chelsea, defensively solid. So, all in all, I would definitely take Thomas Tuchel, you know, should he be a candidate for us to snatch, you know, in the summer with regards to the situation at Chelsea getting worse and more and more uncertain. Surely we can offer Thomas Tuchel something and a definite job and backing from the board, you know, should the opportunity arise. Moving along, basically the journalists then decided to finally ask questions about the Spurs game. And that being said, it kind of shows, you know, and again, I'm going to say, I think that some of these journalists are being paid by the club to ask certain questions, which basically either one, you know, devices away from the actual question which is to ask about the performances and to ask about the style of play and to ask about you know attitude within the, um, our team as well but they tend to ask questions about external things commercial things things that have nothing to do with the team or the game coming up but it didn't take them long to actually get to that 
and basically they asked about Spurs and what um, Ragnik might be thinking with regards to the game and also you know if there are any players that will be available i.e. Varane, McTominay, Cavani and Ronaldo etc who were missing for the previous game that we had against City and he said basically it is simple we need to win and we have to focus fully on this game even though Tuesday is just as important Yes, we are playing Atletico Madrid, second leg in the Champions League. That is another big game, but our first focus needs to be Spurs, as we need to get the three points, no matter what, come hell or high water. And with the injuries, he basically said that Shaw is still dealing with COVID, and that means Teles will definitely start. If you haven't seen the preview to the Spurs game, definitely go and give that a watch as well. Um, and if you haven't done so, definitely like the video and also continue to subscribe to the channel. Yes, let's have a break here. Basically, our goal is to have 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. We can do it. We can achieve it. It will definitely be done with your love and your support of the channel. And continue to share it to all of your Manchester United supporters, friends and family as far as you can because we want to have a big community and just share more of that passion that we have for Manchester United, which is the club that we live and breathe. Moving along, he also stated that McTominay was a doubt, but he further went on to change his mind and said that he will not be risked because he is sustaining a calf injury. And he basically said that when it comes to you know calf injuries, he tends to be more cautious, mainly because it is a muscle injury. So perhaps maybe resting him for you know Tuesday against Atletico Madrid, but also, if it is a muscle injury, then definitely rest is needed. I don't think it should be rest, you know, for Spurs. Surely we can, you know, get on along without McTominay. And basically, the next question that was asked was quite simple. And to be honest, it was expected. They basically asked if Ronaldo will be back for the game tomorrow. And Ragnick didn't hold back anything. He basically said straightforward, Ronaldo will be back. He has trained fully with the team since returning. And there is no issues regarding him as well with regards to the fact that reports said that he left, you know, training to go to Portugal to recover from an injury. And Ragni said there's no point in speaking about that because that is the past and we need to focus on the Spurs game. Nice and blunt from Ragni and telling them, you know what, stop asking questions that has got nothing to do with the actual game, the actual press conference, because it's a waste of time and it's just pointless speaking about it. Quite blunt and straightforward from Ragnik and putting, you know, the foot into the horse's mouth to these journalists that are paid to ask these petty questions that absolutely is useless and just time wasting in general. And moving along to, you know, the final few points and questions that were asked. Basically, he also said that Cavani is back for the Spurs game. Again, we'll have to just wait and see on exactly how that turns out, whether he starts, whether he comes from the bench. He will have to prove to the fans once again that he, you know, is able to play and perform as to the standard that we know. And that, you know, even if this is his last few months at the club, that he actually decides to perform to the highest level to help us achieve fourth place for the Champions League and also to go as far as we can in the Champions League. We need every player to step up to the plate. And Cavani is only one of them. So good to hear that he's back. But his performance tomorrow, whether he starts or comes up on the bench, will definitely tell us a lot about where he is mentally and his attitude towards um, Manchester United as a whole. Basically, he was also asked about Rashford. Now, this is interesting. You know, in the past few games, Rashford hasn't been performing well. And also, you know, his attitude off the pitch hasn't been well with the leagues that has come out and, you know, him not showing any remorse, you know, for his bad performances. But Ragnik has once again come out and defended him. And if you haven't seen the video, go and give it a look as to why I think, you know, Rashford has down-tooled and not improved as a player thus far. And he's not exactly at the standard that he should be. But Ragnik defended him and basically said that he needs to start playing the way that he trains. And praised him and said that he has tremendous talent and he has everything to become a top striker. Now, Ragnik has said this before, so he's basically once again putting the ball into Rashford's court and saying, you know what, we know what, what type of talent you have, we know what you can do, just get back to doing it again and ensure that you know you, the fans get behind you. Just do what you do on a daily basis in training, transvert it to the game, and you will definitely start seeing the performances that you need to see. So again, tomorrow very interesting, 
whether he might be starting, whether he might be coming from the bench. Interesting to see, just like Cavani, he has got a lot to prove and he also has to ensure that he shows the fans that he wants to be here. Especially since he came out and said that he's considering his future with regards to not playing as well. But very interesting to see exactly what will happen with regards to Marcus Rashford tomorrow. And just the last final question, the journalist also asked what Ragnik thinks about Arsenal being the favourites for top four. He basically said that yes, Arsenal are the favourites, obviously because they have three games in hand. But he also mentioned other clubs that also have an opportunity, such as West Ham, such as Spurs, Wolves, etc. They also have a slight opportunity to sneak into the top four position. So Ragnik just basically kind of diverted and deflected the question and said, you know what? We're here at the Manchester United press conference. Don't ask me about another club and what them being the favourites means for us. We focus on us. We focus on our performances. We focus on not losing any more points, as he said, because we can't afford to lose points from now until the end of the season. So he basically said, we focus on ourselves, focus on our performances, and everything will fall into place if we continue to improve our own performances and work ethic. That is it. That was a very short press conference that was had by Ralph Ragnick. And not, you know, a lot of things have been said, but enough was said in order to give us a broad, you know, understanding exactly as to what we can expect for the game against Spurs tomorrow. I thank you guys for joining me. Definitely continue to follow us on TikTok, Instagram and Twitter. And also ensure that you comment, like and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube so that we can have more content pushed out. And then we can reach, which is the goal of Stratford End, to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Till we speak again soon, we're nearly there at match day. Have a wonderful evening further. That's it from me, Session Johnson, and the Stratford End. Goodbye.